if you like Ben Affleck, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. All right, here's a little fucking cheat sheet for you. It's never gonna be me and you and your sister and Shine fucking playing house up there. All right, you got it? Get that in your fucking head. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Armageddon, 1998. Does that mean there's actually a job that Mr. All Go, No Quit, Big Nuts, Harry Stamper can't handle by himself? Armageddon is a science fiction disaster film directed by Michael Bay and stars Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, Billy Bob Thornton, Liv Tyler, Owen Wilson, William Fitchner, and Steve Buscemi. Kickstarting the infamous career of action fetishist Michael Bay, Armageddon is not only an adventurous action ride, but a world's end apocalypse scenario. When a giant meteor threatens to wipe out humanity, a team of scientists and drillers must team up to drill into its surface and detonate an atomic bomb to save Earth and all its inhabitants. You know what? How about just AJ? I'm sorry. I love you. No, AJ. There's not a job on the planet that I would want you to work with me on. Number 9. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, 2001. <clears throat> yeah, I do remember the class, but frankly, I found it rather elementary. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back is a buddy comedy film written and directed by Kevin Smith and stars him alongside Jason Mewes, Ben Affleck, Shannon Elizabeth, Will Ferrell, Jason Lee, and Chris Rock. Exploring the world of greed and comic books, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back features two best buddies in a fight against a massive corporation that, without asking, takes their comic book counterparts in a movie adaptation without paying them. Now they go on a mission to sabotage the flick at all costs. I don't like the sound of them apples, Will. What are we gonna do? Jackie? Yeah? It's hunting season. Applesauce, bitch. Number 8. State of Play, 2009. You're my friend. You're my friend, Cal. I never would have done this to you. State of Play is a 2009 political thriller film directed by Kevin McDonald and stars Russell Crowe, Ben Affleck, Rachel McAdams, and Helen Mirren. A handsome, intellectual rising star, Congressman Stephen Collins has a promising political career ahead. But an unsolved tragedy becomes a bigger threat to him than anyone could have imagined. Buried secrets suddenly reveal themselves, causing a series of events that not only lead Collins on a dark path, but even threaten to destroy entire power structures. You're just seeking the truth, that's all. You're just, you're a truth seeker. That's all, you can't help it, it's who you are. You're such a hypocrite. You're not interested in me. Maybe coming here was all about you and getting your story. I trust it. Number seven. Chasing Amy, 1999. Rick pulled his dick out. Really? <laughs> what did you do? I blew him while Coey fucked me. Chasing Amy is a romantic comedy drama film written and directed by Kevin Smith and stars Ben Affleck, Joey Lauren Adams, and Jason Lee. Exploring the nature of sexuality combined with thorny themes, Chasing Amy follows two lifelong friends who happen to be the authors of a popular comic book. But when one of them falls for a lesbian girl, against all odds they form a serious relationship that threatens to destroy a lifelong friendship and his own self if he can't deal with Amy's past. Excuse me? That's what you wanted to hear, isn't it? That's what this little cross-examination of yours is all about? God! Well, next time, try not to make it so obvious, all right? There's subtler ways of badgering a witness. Am I right? Jeez, man. How did I know what you were getting at? Number six. Dogma, 1999. Prepare to taste God's wrath. Maybe we should just leave. You wanted your body count. You got it. This lot is rife with sin. We'll judge them all. Dogma is a fantasy comedy film written and directed by Kevin Smith and stars him alongside Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Linda Fiorentino, Chris Rock, Salma Hayek, Alan Rickman, and Jason Mewes. Finding cult director Kevin Smith in a brilliant religious satire, Dogma follows two angels who are banned from heaven and thrown into the middle of nowhere. 
But when finding out that there is a portal right back into their beloved home, which would eventually kill every human on Earth, a group is formed to stop the two. Hundred years young house of God. God's house? God doesn't live here anymore. He's grown weary of your superficial faith. He's turned a deaf ear to your lip service prayers. He has abandoned you. Number five. The Accountant, 2016. How do you know what to do here? Why are you prepared for this? Plus, this is on wheels, which means I can hook it up and be gone in 12 minutes, usually. The Accountant is an action thriller film directed by Gavin O'Connor and stars Ben Affleck, Anna Kendrick, J.K. Simmons, and John Bernthal. Filled with packing and truly physical action and thriller mysteries that exceed the typical genre tropes, the accountant follows mathematics savant Christian, who lives a dangerous lie. He is secretly an accountant for criminal organizations. But when he is involved in a conspiracy that deals with millions of dollars, unknown killers are suddenly on his track to eliminate him. Sarcasm? Is that sarcasm? No, that's not sarcasm. I don't use sarcasm. It's irritation. Everything in the world that is important to me is in this trailer, and right now changing my routine for you is jeopardizing that. Number 4. The Town, 2010. What's that mean? What the fuck you think it means? What does that mean you're done? It sounds like a bunch of fucking bullshit. Let me put it to you this way. I'm putting this whole fucking town in my review. The Town is a 2010 crime thriller film, co-written, directed by, and starring Ben Affleck, alongside Rebecca Hall, John Hamm, Jeremy Renner, and Blake Lively. After a dicey bank job, Doug must make sure the female bank manager, Claire, doesn't know who they are. He manages to meet her and then finds her appealing, trying to handle his feelings for her. He has to plan his next job while being chased by an FBI agent. Are prison and death the only ways out of this situation? Taking her for a ride didn't help. I'm going to start a look in ACOM. We'll find out. Find out what? If she needs to get scared. She's already scared. I'm maybe not scared enough. I'll do it. Why are you going to do it? Because you're the reason we're having this conversation. Yeah, but I'm going to get it done. Number three. Argo 2012. Uh, high and dry. Who paid for that? CFDC. What's your middle name? What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Leon? Shoot him. He's an American spy. Argo is a 2012 historical drama film directed by Ben Affleck and stars him in the leading role alongside Brian Cranston, Alan Arkin, and John Goodman. Argo recounts a secret life-and-death operation to save six Americans, which took place behind the scenes of the hostage crisis in Iran. The reality of the operation has been unknown to the general public for many years. Knowing that it is only a matter of time before the six are killed, a CIA exfiltration specialist offers a risky plan to get them out of the country. They're going to try to break you, okay, by trying to get you agitated. You have to know your resume back to front. You really believe your little story is going to make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. Number two. Goodwill Hunting, 1997. You owe it to me. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'll be 50, and I'll still be doing this shit. Goodwill Hunting is a 1997 drama film directed by Gus Van Sant and stars Robin Williams, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Minnie Driver, and Stellan Skarsgård. Will Hunting is a genius who's living a rough life in South Boston. When Will is almost sent to jail, a professor at MIT decides to bail him out under the condition that he works with him for math every week and that he visits the therapist Sean McGuire. With the help of Sean, Will begins to realize that there's more to himself than he thinks there is. You know what the best part of my day is? For about 10 seconds from when I pull up to the curb and when I get to your door. Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. No goodbye, no see you later, no nothing. I'm just left. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You're firing me? Come on, Bobby, sit down. We're also offering you all placement services to help you secure your next employment. Does she know about this? Please sit. You know what, Sally? Just fuck off. I bet your parents taught you that you mean something. That you're here for a reason. My parents taught me a different lesson. Dying in the gutter for no reason at all. 
You couldn't, you didn't want to just come talk to me. I did come talk to you about it, Jack, and then you lied to me. I never lied to you. I didn't lie to you about anything. You lied to me today about your alarm clock. I had a, a power outage in my house. You were drunk at practice. Oh, bullshit. I could smell it bullshit. on you. Bullshit. The boys could smell it on you. Number one. Gone Girl 2014. Amy and I believe in the lost art of letter writing. I always wondered why you kept in touch after everything. Gone Girl is a 2014 psychological thriller film directed by David Fincher and stars Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike, Neil Patrick Harris, and Tyler Perry. The film reveals the secrets of a modern marriage. On his fifth wedding anniversary, Nick Dunn reports that his beautiful wife Amy has disappeared. Under the pressure from the police and a growing media frenzy, Nick's portrait of a happy union begins to crumble. Soon he sees the spotlight turned on him when it's suspected that he may not be innocent. She dumped you. You completely unraveled. You stalked her, you threatened her, and you attempted suicide in her bed and were institutionalized. Your wife is missing and you came all this way to tell me this? Well, I thought there might be another side to this story. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.